So today on Ford File, we're continuing with our look at uh, members of the Montreal Canadiens, not in the Hockey Hall of Fame that has uh, more than four or five cups. Now, uh, this player, uh, a lot of Montreal Canadiens fans feel his jumping to the end of WHA cost to have at least one or two cups during the, uh, the last great dynasty, especially 1974. We're going to talk about the immensely talented and underrated and underappreciated for by a lot of uh, NHL fans, Jean-Claude uh, Tremblay. Now, uh, Joseph Hardy, Jean-Claude Tremblay, was born January 22nd, 1939, and he played uh, defense uh, for uh, two decades. Uh, first part of his career for the Montreal Canadiens before he jumped to WHA with the Quebec Nordiques. And with the Nordiques, he was considered best defenseman, overall defenseman in WHA. Played uh, with the WHA Summit Series squad in 74. Uh, helped the Nordiques uh, to AFCO uh, uh, title in 77. Uh, playing with the uh, former Montreal Canadiens, Greg Arnold and Mark Cadiz, another uh, top uh, top flight uh, Francophone player. Uh, he was more noted for his uh, defensive skills, but uh, really good uh, man, uh, uh, Sort of the Adam Oates on defense for the Montreal Canadiens. Great on the power play, uh, was known to score a lot of key goals, especially in the uh, playoff series against uh, Boston, Detroit, and Chicago in the 60s and 70s. Now, um, after an amateur and minor professional career that saw him move from left wing to defense and, um, and to win his uh, league's most valuable player title in 60, 1960, Trombley began playing for the Canadiens for that season and stuck with the big league team for good in 61-62, playing for five Stanley Cups. Uh, 65, 66, 68, 69, and 71. He became one of the NHL's most respected uh, stars on defense and for his offenses and defensive work. Played in seven NHL All-Star games. He set the franchise record for points by a defenseman, and it was recognized as the first team All-Star in 71 and the second team all-star in 1968. He, uh, when he left the NHL for WHA, he was ranked uh, top 50 overall in NHL history for assists. Uh, but because of the WHA, Trombley, uh, 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 Trombley was looking at better money. He felt he was kind of left out compared to the first of art and the uh, honorary Richard, uh, John Belleville, Cornway, and Money. And uh, it uh, didn't help the Canadians. Uh, he decided to jump to the upstar WHA with the Nordiques, who were initially supposed to play in LA. He had negotiated with the LA Sharks for his rights. And of course, Nordiques got uh, a lot of those uh, negotiation pieces when uh, the franchise was awarded. Uh, he was a Nordiques like first, first big, big star. And the league, like I said, the, the preeminent defenseman before the house came in. And he won the league honors for best defenseman in 73 and 75, uh, Summit Series in 74, and he led the team in, the, in defensive scoring that season. Uh, the 77 AFCO World Cup uh, trophy over Winnipeg's Justin uh, Bobby Hall. And he was the only player to play for the Nordiques all seven seasons during the NHL and retired after the 79 season. There's no indication really of published reports why JC. Never came over the NHL, but uh, playing uh, 20 years as a pro uh, in the the, the, uh, the lower pros like the AHL, NHL, WHA, you know, he, uh, he did a lot in his career. Now, his number three jersey uh, was a uh, retirement of Nordiques after 79, and uh, he was only one of three players to have his uh, number retired by NHL team whatever every ever actually playing for it. Uh, the other two being Johnny McKenzie of the Hartford Whalers and uh, Frank Finnegan of the modern day Ottawa Center. He came back to the Canadians uh, uh, later on as a scout, mostly in Europe for the Montreal Canadiens, and helped discover uh, uh, a lot uh, uh, a lot of big prospects from Montreal, including uh, Matt and Stafford and a few others. Now uh, ironic turn of events in 1979, he donated a kidney to his daughter to uh, save her 
save her life, but unfortunately, uh, just 15 years later, she died of kidney cancer himself on December 7, 1994, at the young age of 55. Uh, you know, us in the media, we miss JC a lot because he was uh, tremendously uh, dedicated to all the facets of uh, NHL play, including, uh, you know, trying to uh, combine the modern game with the, uh, you know, the, uh, the aggressive hockey that Team Canada was going for. But uh, they say he was like chocolate. He was smooth on the ice, man. He was tremendous, tremendous. Now, uh, his all-star game appearances, again, 69, 65, 67, 68, 69, 71, and 92. Uh, WHA first all-star team, 73, 75, 76. WHA second all-star team, 74. Uh, WHA leader in assists, 73 and 76. He, in his seventh season were Nordiques. He had the 66 goals and 350, 58 helpers for 424 points in 454 games. Uh, he's second in WHA history in assists, 14 points in 16 in game uh, plays. And um, named uh, again the NHL first all star team in 71, second all star team in 68. He has a street uh, named after him in the Vaudreuil de Wallon, Quebec. Uh, and he was a inaugural member of the WHA Hall of Fame in 2010. And beautiful. Uh, uh, arena in Saguenay, Quebec, which was La Baie Quebec Creek, right, is uh, named after him. So his legacy lives on. But his statistics for the Montreal Canadiens were extremely consistent. His biggest year, when he started to get to really break out, was 1971. He had 63 points with 52 assists that season in 2016. But he went there over to the Nordiques. The biggest season uh, for me was uh, 1976, when he had 89 points, including 77 assists. He was the French Bobby Orr to a, a lot of players. Uh, he played over uh, uh, nearly 1,300 uh, NHL and WCA games. Uh, and again, like I said, a very gentlemanly player would rarely go above uh, 20 or 30 minutes in penalty. And uh, in the playoffs, uh, that's where he shone again. 61 assists in 108 games in the playoffs. Now, uh, Jason Trombley, Hall of Fame, uh, WHA Hall of Fame. I'd like to see uh, Trombley get uh, get inducted down the road. Uh, do have Dee Carbonell and Tolbert win? Maybe was bypassed a little bit because he jumped to WHA. Who knows? But I always think, what would the Montreal Canadiens would have been like in the seventies? I know it's kind of selfish, but seventy-four and seventy-five, you could use them against Buffalo in seventy-five in the semifinals, seventy-four against the Rangers. He, uh, he could help Larry Robinson. See, before we had the big three, we had the other big three, which was Harvey, J.C. Bromley, and Teddy Harris. And, um, you know, uh, can, you, can you imagine LaPointe, Le Savard, Robinson, J.C. Bromley on defense with LaPayre here? Uh, Montreal, would they gave up many goals in that era. And with Gila Fleur playing with J.C. Bromley, playing with shots, Playing with the, the two Bahamas, it boggles the mind. But you see J.C. Trombley in the, uh, especially the 71 playoff against Boston, you look at uh, the key points, sort of been sold in Chicago. Jacques Lemire, when I talked to him years ago, once told me that, you know, uh, J.C. was uh, uh, the term, there's no translation, unheralded, it meant to say he was so good, uh, people did. He was an afterthought. It was sort of like a Paul Molitor or a Robin Young for the Brewers. Uh, Joe Carter with the Blue Jays. J.C. was always going to get 50, 60 assists, five to 10 goals. Like I said, very good on the road. And he had, uh, you know, uh, not too many personal feuds, but uh, according to public reports, Punchin Black said J.C. scared him the most in a game against Montreal. And uh, the reporter for the Gazette asked him why. Well, he said, you never know uh, when he's going to do a rush or, or uh, set up a three-on-two with quick passes. Like I said, he was that good. The only player I can compare it with, obviously not for points, for him manning the puck. But he meant that he was a Bobby Orr in a Montreal Canadiens because JC was that good. He would rise to the occasion, like Belleville would rise in the playoffs. So on this COVID Sunday, this is a continuation of some of my Sports File podcasts of some of the Montreal Canadiens greats. We're going to be doing uh, a few following up this week. Please give a like, uh, uh, a comment, or a subscribe. 
And like we always say, if you like my podcast, tell your friends. If you don't like it, don't tell anybody. Have a good day.